All right. So now. Video news. game news. Yes. Mm. Woo. So news. Video game news, news to be specific. And this yes. is super exciting. I I am salivating at the mouth. I am sweating profusely at the thought of this game and more the more news that's gonna come out about it, Ryan. Uh it, I'm so excited. And the game we're talking about I'm is Shredder's Revenge. Profumely. You're sweating profumely. That's the probably the best way to sweat. Uh, I haven't perfected that art yet, but uh, I, I it's can... rare. It's rare when it happens. But when I when I saw some of this alpha gameplay footage and these trailers, yeah. I was like, oh, is that my is that my eau de toilette? You don't know what, what I'm saying? Like I, I have no idea. Um, yeah. You know. So um, so let's see here. So a while back, uh, they around let's see when was that March two uh, of this year, 2021. Uh, they, they dropped a trailer, and a, the, by they, the developer is Tribute Games, Inc. Now, they had a hand in the Scott Pilgrim vs. the World game, which was a f super fun uh, side-scroller uh, beat-em-up, which I don't know if you can see it behind me. I actually have it over here, the uh, the limited to ru limited run games uh, version. And um, it's a fantastic oh, game. Oh. Yeah, can you see it? Let me, oh, let me grab it. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, sorry. All right. There All we right. go. There so, we go. Yeah, this was uh, this just came out, and it was like it wasn't a Kickstarter. It was more like a made-to-order pre-order, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, they, um, but I loved this game so much. It was like the best of side-scrolling. Well, I love Scott Pilgrim anyway, but like side-scrolling beat 'em ups and a little bit of RPG elements in it and things like that. Mm -hmm. It was just like perfection, in my opinion. And um, so, uh, Tribute Games had a hand in that. And they're the developer on this, on Shredder's Revenge. Uh, the publisher is uh, .emu, which they, I believe, were most recently involved with uh, the Streets of Rage, uh, Streets of Rage 4, which uh, uh, Fr Farmer Greg, uh, you know, part of Turtle Soup family, he, uh, him and I played that game uh, a bit, and, and I enjoyed it a, a ton. And it looked beautiful. It was super fun and, and very similar that it's like the side-scrolling beat-em-ups that a lot of us grew up with. And uh, most of them were like with turtles, with the turtles. Uh, the first, yeah. uh, what the first three? No, 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 the second, the third, and then, uh, and then there was Turtles in Time. And so it's yeah, that, 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 that TMNT arcade game, man. The yeah, arcade game experience, hard mm -hmm. to beat it. You know, we, it's we spent very a lot of hard talking about it. And uh, because it, it's something about it, just it cap it encapsulated your your imagination and just made you want to spend more money and just put more quarters in. Everything about it was like. You could, it was palpable. Like you could just like feel it every all around oh, you. Yeah. And uh, it was like a spiritual experience, if you will. So Whoa. they, uh, so dot EMU did streets of rage Four. tribute games, did Scott Pilgrim. So you got two heavy hitters, like that made really good games in this style coming at you with shredders revenge. Now, um, the, uh, the trailer dropped the original one, March, 2021, and we're going to have it in the description below. Uh, so you can check it out if you haven't yeah. seen it yet. And, uh, Something I was not expecting, Ryan, was uh, Mike Patton of Faith No More and Mr. Bungle performs the intro song, which that's my boy Mike is insane. That's my boy Mike, I'm a fan. Yeah, a fan. yeah, I am too, and it was great. And the 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 pregame, which I'm assuming is the pregame, um, uh, like uh, what do they call that? Whenever you don't, you're waiting to press start, and then all of a sudden it rolls. Like, is that just like a pre-roll or something? Like, there's probably a yeah, term a for it. Thing, yeah. But uh, but that looks gorgeous. So you better you'd, you'd be better off to go look at it if you haven't seen it already. Mm -hmm. However, um, that was what we had until the 25th of August of this, you know, 2021 uh, mm -hmm. at Gamescom. Uh, they debuted a new trailer for the game. And I believe we have uh, I believe. Hold on. I'm getting I'm getting word. Um, yeah, oh. I think we have on the TV. I think it's plugged in and ready to go. I have to. Uh, let me let me double check something. Is but Vernon, yeah, is that Vernon telling us this it, video is ready to go? It, it could be uh, it could be Mr. Thompson um, uh, telling us oh. it's ready to go. Uh, we're gonna do a yeah yeah we're 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 gonna do a um we're gonna do a uh, we're gonna re review this and watch this in real time with y'all and yeah. uh, and check it out th this this new reveal which uh well, well, well let's just get to it. let's just cut to the TV right we're we're gonna cut to the TV yeah come on so here we it. go turn it on all right oh yeah like that yeah mm. all right. Here we go. So you got Leo, got Donnie, you got Raph, yeah. you got Mikey. What's this? April O'Neil. Oh snap! That's pretty huge. Goodness, that God, like the 
the the god the color depth and everything and like the action looks so great oh it's fantastic love the animation with her oh yeah and then they're going for like the anime style art like when it's mm-hmm. not um when it's not like the the sprite art right I love that yeah it, it it's oh my god and i love that uh there's a oh there's rat king oh snap yeah oh yeah and uh they and they do have android body head yep interesting and uh, I can't remember if it's in this trailer or not, but they do show multi. Oh, there it is, multiple colored, uh, different colored foot soldiers. Oh, I mean that that's a that's a hallmark. You gotta oh, have that. Oh, you have to. You gotta have the multicolor guys. Oh my, my god! Like, oh oh man, with shields. Yeah. Yeah. See, I love that art. Like that art is like. Yeah, the art like, is that fantastic. Art is gold man. I mean, and, uh, those sprites are so good looking. It is. Like, and then, uh, lastly, there's this little bit right here where she's uh. She's helping the turtles up with some pizza. And so there you go. As, as you do. As you do. And so. Um, as you do. Yeah. So we have some. Uh, so I took some screenshots. Let me see if I can uh, bring that over to the uh, to the television if I can. Here we go. And uh, yeah. So. Um, so let's talk about this a little bit. So April O'Neil is a playable character. Uh, they. Um, they. Let's see. I. They talked about how um, she uses her weapons. Her weapons here are a microphone, and she also has a camera that she um, can uh, spin around and like use to um, oh, nice. just like knock people out. And it that's oh, that's so good. That, like, I love. Oh, it. it's like a hammer. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's fantastic. yeah. It, it's like oh yeah. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, it's like a sledge or like a like a Shao Kahn's hammer, if you will. Um, yeah. So yeah, uh, and she is probably the um, the like the big draw of this thing. But we're seeing a lot of other stuff in this trailer that some of the stuff we hadn't seen, and most of it we have. But there's a couple other things. But um, but more on April. Uh, she does this move where she um, where she can drop the mic, like she knocks this foot soldier out, and then she yeah. drops the mic on him and he disappears. Like that's that's pretty rad. And so. Um, so like yeah, that. then we figure out, or we, as we keep watching uh, the trailer, they do show us uh, none of none, the, the like for those who still haven't seen it. None of it is they're not telling us anything. It's all just visual cues. Well, mm-hmm. one thing we yeah. do see is that Leo balls her up and uh, takes her and put oh, like fastball just fastball special, fastball special right down the middle, uh, knocking out some foot soldiers. That's pretty awesome. So we got team moves, and that's not all. I, yes, we get this. So. <clears throat> A very calipigious oh. April throws it back with Leonardo throwing his calipigious self back towards a foot soldier to knock him out. That's that, and that's that that's that shell on shell action. That's that shell you know on shell action. I forgot what they call that. There's a name for that. I'm sure There's there a is. Name for when they do that. Yeah, let I us know. Remember. Yeah, let us know. Email us or put it in the comments below and uh yeah. and let us know if, if you know the name of that. But um but yeah, and uh she can also, as we saw at the end and we just mentioned, she can revive turtles with pizza. Now I don't know if that's gonna be like her like one of her special moves or what, but this is it's just what they showed us and that's that's what they told us. And uh, you know, if they've told the turtles Pretty have told great. us anything, we can count on them. So that's mostly about April. She looks fantastic. She it's not yeah. like a attacked on kind of thing. It seems like she had no, like they no, knew that no. they were doing this going in. Um and uh yeah, so um a couple other things I wanted to talk about as far as what's in the trailer. Uh, real quick, just just real quick run through in case still you haven't seen it and uh, it's I don't know I'm just so giddy about this Ryan I, I hope y'all forgive me if I if I get too into the weeds here but <laughs> here we go some things we saw so we saw uh, Bebop and Rocksteady a giant chrome dome now this was in uh, the, both trailers I'm I'm comparing both trailers now uh, a yeah. giant chrome dome uh, Bebop and Rocksteady we saw Baxter Stockman Mousers. Bebop's monster truck from the Manhattan Projects um, game, which is insane. Yeah, the that, that's, game. yeah that, that's, that's even, yeah, yeah. I, I love that. Like, I, I thought that it was a toy that, and there might have been. I just couldn't find it, but yeah. definitely it was a reference to the game. And, uh, yeah, we also see a, um, a Triceraton. Mikey has his nunchucks, which is good because, you know, we don't need that, oh, that grappling finally, hook. Finally, don't need that whitewash anymore on that thing. Right, we see um, turtles on surfboards. We see the Technodrome, uh, Krang's yes. android body head. Um, yeah, now, in, that, in that in that shot with Rat King, in that in that level with Rat King, I was like, that 
that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, it's it's over there and it looked melted. Like it like it, yeah. it was melted because it was uh so Rat King jumps on the um the foot ski which is in there which was from the 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 games to um back in the day. And uh, it's just strange yeah. that his head, and I think it shows up somewhere else, like in one of the Channel Six newsrooms, oh, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. So, uh, so there's that. Uh, we we mentioned multicolored foot soldiers, and I know that's a huge thing for you. Like that's one of your things that, like uh, you said, you know, you're not playing unless the, that's that, in there. I, I I mean I don't know I don't know how how into it I can get. You know what I'm saying? But like if you're going side scroller, <clears throat> you're you're trying to go after the feel of that arcade game experience. A side scroller, you got to. Yeah. Get those foot soldiers in different colors and have them have different weapons. I really like seeing the one foot soldier with a shield. Oh yeah, that was super cool. He had like a full length shield. I was like, oh, that's awesome. Oh yeah, I was a big fan of that. So um, we have Channel Six stage. Uh, let's see, we have um, uh, there's sewer stages and all kinds of other things. We see a lot of Channel Six mm-hmm. in these trailers. Uh, there's a zoo stage apparently. So um, either it's mm-hmm. a zoo or it's more of that room that Dreg had the turtles go to. Well, he didn't have them. They just mistakenly went to uh, in the second episode of season 10. Um, yeah. But uh, let's see. Uh, the transport module shows up, which is clutch for old school video games. And I think that. Oh, oh, yeah. oh and finally, I think the last trailer ends with this uh, or the first trailer does. Um, where they throw the foot soldiers towards the screen, which is how you had to beat Shredder, I think, in uh, in Turtles in Time. You had to throw him towards yeah, the screen, which yeah. was ama- amazing oh. back in the day. Like I, that broke I, my brain. I love that. I and love so, that. yeah. Now I have a question for you, Ryan, real quick. So, um, it it looks as though. Oh, I forgot to mention Splinter is in the the um, the first trailer in the animation. Yes. So is April. He's, he's animated. Yeah. And April is seen actually actively fighting, I think, some mousers. Uh, and so yeah. is Splinter. Now, do you think that this is indicative that Splinter is going to be another playable character that they mention? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. No, like, I honestly, I think the fact that Splinter's in the art means he will be. Um, yeah. Uh, because, you know, April's in the art, too. I think that they're letting this slowly kind of slide because this game's not due to come out until, what, like, uh, Q1 2022? Yeah, 2022 is all they've um, given us, really. So they, so they've got, they've got the fall and 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 winter to to kind of get into this. Um, yeah, I think he'll be playable. I would not be surprised if you see more playable characters. Yeah, or more characters that you can you can open up because if they have access to all that, it's kind of hard. I mean, like you got to be working with Viacom nowadays to make that thing. And yeah. uh, you could you could probably get like some punk frogs going on. You can yeah. probably get. I mean, like you never know, or maybe they're saving that for later. They might but be. I'm, I'm just, I'm just really excited because the game it, the game looks gorgeous. Uh, and 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 I would not be surprised if Splinter is playable. I love the idea that April seems like a support character. That's important because she she offered us her support. She she did. She let us know that. So um, and Splinter too. I think mm. it'd be really cool to have a couple support characters in there. I mean, they can still kick ass, but they have like healer capabilities they have stuff like that because like that's going to open the dimension of that game up like massively oh yeah um so so i'm really looking forward to that um god we're going to be on it day and date man yeah we're definitely going to be we we got we got plans to cover this uh in a in a in a in a a way uh to play this game on, on the show and stuff and i'm really excited man Right, like, where are you at on this? Like, I, I feel like I feel like I can almost answer for you, but like, I mean, where where do you stand right now on it? Uh, I am a uh, channel six to midnight, if you know what I'm saying, and Whoa. It, it, mm. it is, yeah, I am uh, just just giddy beyond belief. Like, if there's a physical release, I'm probably gonna get it, like n- hands down, yeah. day and date, more than likely. Um, probably gonna play it on the Switch, uh, because that's mostly where I get a lot, play a lot of my games now. Um, but uh. Yeah, other than that, I, I'm super stoked on it. The art's fantastic. I think Splinter, I agree, I think Splinter is going to be the next reveal because they don't want to show yeah, the whole I, hand I think, while they I still think. have more time. Oh, oh, no, um, no, no. And I can definitely see them doing Casey, uh, throwing Casey in there as a DLC. And uh, I'm trying to think. They, I mean, they could potentially throw um, any, any – because it seems like a lot of this is based on the animated series. Uh, yeah. So there, there is um, – so we're dealing in that realm, and so it'd be kind of cool to get like Mona Lisa or Rex One, or like like Mondo Gecko. Mondo Gecko, like, yeah. Mondo Just Gecko not... would be easy to put in that game because he's he's gotten made for it. Oh, oh yeah, totally. Except, well, 
I was thinking like, because, you know, back in the day, a lot of it was like resource management with those video games. Like they only had so many colors and so many sprites and oh, things yeah. they could use. So yeah. like if you had a character that is like known to have a skateboard constantly, then like having him on a surfboard with the skateboard might be a little much. But like, you know, whatever. It's like you just, you just roll with it, I guess. But um, hey, man, you literally, cause, I mean, because he's got to. He's, he's got to. He's he got has to no choice. It, literally. So he, I saw, you know, I don't see a way around it. Right. Um, so I definitely think Splinter is going to be the next. Uh, he's the only other person um, from what I can recall and what I saw that is in the trailer that we haven't seen yet. And he's actively fighting in the trailer, just like April was. So, you know, yes, it stands to reason that that would be another hallmark for 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 what's to come. And uh, yeah, I, I this looks gorgeous. And it's I, I believe it's going to be it's multiplayer. It's going to probably have online and couch co-op uh just like Scott Pilgrim did, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that that is all they've really said. Now they did say it's switch. Uh, I think switch windows and um, other consoles is what they say. Xbox. So I, in the trailer uh, in the, well, in the trailer, it has the icons for, Oh, it does. Uh, PlayStation PS4, Xbox one, I think um, uh, Sw- Nintendo switch and mm. P- and windows. Okay. All four of those. I must have missed so that. It's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be available on all the platforms. When I read the the copy, I guess that came out to a lot of the the news sites and stuff. I think yeah. it, the verbiage just said other consoles, and that might be because they didn't want to go into PS3 or, or PS4, PS5, or, right, PS5, Xbox, you know, yeah, no, it's true. Pizza Box, whatever it is. And um, so, <laughs> so <laughs> although neither of us know the name of the new Xbox console, we're like Xbox X X X Bone X. Yeah, exactly X Bone. Um, so yeah. yeah. Um, in the chat though, uh, we have uh, reporting in uh, Adam Winters. He um, he mm. has a couple of comments. He says, uh, "Rainbow Mika, eat your heart out," which is a reference, I believe, to uh, the Street Fighter character Rainbow Mika, who has a move where she thrusts her um, her uh, rear at her um mm. opponents and so there you go I, yeah. I i agree with that um he nice. he says that uh the 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 term for that with the turtles uh where they slam their shells together is shell slam but in secret of the ooze uh the the movie movie two uh it was called yes, uh wishbone crunch and so that okay yeah i i, I thought that that move came from a movie mm. i think it's movie two yeah okay like um that's a move that's yeah a turtles move I'm really it's, glad that April can do it too. That, oh yeah, that, that's that's sick. Totally. Yeah. And uh, M. Wilson in the chat. I think he's. I think he's uh, trying to speak into uh, speak into existence. Uh, Thirsty Irma is what he said. And so yeah, if you could get an uh, if you could get Irma and Rex one as as, as a tag team in this, whoo, that'd be sick. And Irma an Irma sprite from this game with that art style oh. might find its way onto my actual body. Yeah, <laughs> like it might actually find its way onto my body. Right, like, I, right. Let me tell you something. If you wind up with some Rex One, then I might have to get the two of those in a little heart somewhere. Oh, we can get like you know what I'm a, saying? Um, like that. Yeah, we can get a, a tandem tattoo, like uh, like where they're Aww. doing their power move, and we just put our arms together or like our hips or oh, something. Oh, like yeah. a battle star thing, so that when we hug, it's also they join. Exactly. Yes, I'm sure that's our exactly wives what we need have to do. zero problem with that. Oh yeah, no, yeah. Well, I'm it's easier. No problems. It's easier to ask for forgiveness than permission. So yeah. that is a fact. But yeah, man, I like like. Stay tuned, guys, for some more. Anything more they drop on this, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna drop uh, uh, whatever we our opinions, what we think. You know, show you guys the new stuff. Yeah, this has the potential to be like one of the best turtles games to come out in the last decade or more. Um, it does just based on how it looks. Uh, But yeah, just stay tuned and uh, we'll keep you up to date with more uh, news on this game.